Hi, this is for Leaf Labs and welcome to our kitchen display hardware setup for monitors. In this video, we will introduce you our main hardware for making kitchen display work, starting with our RKMB5 Android mini computer. This one goes on the back of your screen and it's got a USB port as the card reader on the side, USB port on the back with an Ethernet connection for wired internet connection. And this just simply goes plugged in the HDMI part of your monitor. We got an HDMI extensor that will help you to not connect it directly or maybe bend it accidentally. So this will help with flexibility and the power plug. So these three components should come with your RKMB5 box. We got the uh, navigation hardware starting with the mouse. Uh, this will help you with the first setup so you can navigate through all the menus easily. And we got the bumper that is basically for the end user that is a full aluminum heat resistant and with a very, very uh, long cable so you can reach far away. All monitors should come with at least one HDMI port like the ones I will show you right now. We got two here, so don't forget the shape or confuse it with others. Uh, all monitors we sell should come with an HDMI port on our page. Uh, we got the mount that this one comes with the monitor that we bought. And there's other options like this uh, mount that's got an arm and a lot of flexibility. And it's basically a plate that goes connected on the back of your screen because it's a standard measure. So uh, you will be able to set it up easily. And now we are ready to start assembling our equipment. Now we we're going to talk about our kitchen display monitors. Almost all modern monitors should be compatible with our RKM dongle for the kitchen display app to work. The only requirement is that they have an HDMI port, be it on the back or on the side, like this one. This one has it under. Uh, just one HDMI port will be enough to make it compatible and for us to connect this dongle in it. So, now we will talk about the mounting for monitors. Normally, all monitors come with a standard a fixed mount that is the one that comes with the box. Um, so this one is really easy to install, but there's not a lot of options for movement. It just clips in the back and that's it. There are others like the VESA mounts, like this one. This is just a plate, but they come in arms with different motions or movement uh, range. So this one, for example, rotates and pivots. So it's a bit scary at first, but this is really easy to install. We just need to clip this plate with the monitor in it, of course, and we will just clip it on the arm. So I will just proceed to install it for you to see how easy it is. In this case, I will just take the plate first for practicality, just align it with the bolts, and we will just start screwing them. I will just fast forward from here. What I would recommend doing is start screwing from one corner and then the opposite. Since we have a little curvature here, you may not be able to reach the bottom of one of the sides. So this is just to kind of um, distribute a little bit of the pressure. So try to screw it just uh, middle uh, or halfway there, just go to the other side. So yeah, let's start. Now that we've finished screwing the plate, we will just take our monitor and we will just put it here and clip it with the arm. This is very easy. We will just need to put a little uh, reinforcement bolt in it because we have a, a very uh, wide variety of movement here. So we will need this for us to be able to use all the movement range. And that's it. We will just test a little bit of the movements that we're able to do. All the monitors that we sell on our page are VESA compatible with 75 millimeters and 100 millimeters compatibility. That's why we have like two holes in the plate. And uh, we also sell the mounts. So you should be set if you want to buy any of this uh, equipment, you can just do it from our page. Thank you and see you on the next video. Hi, this is For Leaf Labs. Welcome again to our kitchen display hardware setup for monitors. Now that we're done mounting our monitor and we connected it to the power, we will start assembling our RKM mini computer. 
we will start reminding you of all the ports that we have because we will connect other hardware here. So starting with the power cord, USB, and Ethernet port for an Ethernet wire connection, and on the side, a USB port, an SD card reader for more memory in case you need it, and the HDMI plug, of course. This will go here on your uh, on the back of your screen inside the HDMI ports that comes with it. Uh, this is the HDMI port extension that it's very recommended to use as you could strain the port a bit by connecting it directly and it could bend the plug. So we will use this for our setup here. And the power adapter cord, uh, this will go on the proper power adapter port. Uh, we will just connect it right now. And then we will proceed with other hardware peripherals that will include uh, the navigation hardware uh, that we have bumper and we have the mouse. The mouse will be the recommended one for this first setup as we're going to go through the menu and settings. So this way it's easier and more friendly to use for the first configuration. So we'll just put it on any USB port that we want. Uh, I will put it here on the side one. And then the internet connection, I have a wire for uh, Ethernet. So I will just take this one, it's the yellow wire that I have here, and plug it in. Now we will proceed to connect this into the HDMI port of my monitor. I will just move it around a bit, and I will have to kneel, so I will take a bit of time on connecting it under. It is a bit awkward, that's why the HDMI extensor will work very well with my setup here. So I don't strain the connection. And now we will connect uh, the whole stuff to the power using the power cord or power adapter. Um, and I will connect it to the power now. Make sure that your screen is turned on so you will be able to see the loading screen or splash screen that says Android. So I will turn on my screen and now you should see that it says Android. That means that it's loading and it will prompt me to the home screen of my RKM device. It looks like this, it's ready to go. We will just need to set up uh, some other stuff now uh, that includes the date and the time. And this is because at the start it will be, uh, you will need to configure it uh, correctly. So you can see that I already installed the Kitchen Display application here. So uh, when, I when I open this application, it should be, uh, connected already. And now I will go through the setup. The setup icon here or the cockwheel icon will help me to go uh, to the Wi-Fi section in case I don't have a Ethernet connection or a wire connection and to set up the date and the time that will be crucial for my device to operate correctly because this is very time sensitive. I have to select the right time zone. Um, now we will just scan for the Wi-Fi connection if I have one and go back uh, after I'm finished with all the setup. And when I open my app, I should have a green bar on the top. That means that my kitchen display is connected and working fine. Well, we'll see you in the next video to set this up from scratch. Hi, this is For Leaf Labs and welcome back to our kitchen display set of video for monitors. We are ready with this one, so we will start setting up our software. For that, we will need to get our mouse so we can navigate through all the menus and start setting up our date and time and also our network. If you check here on the top right corner, it is messed up. Uh, today is the 23rd and also the Wi-Fi is not connected. This is very, very important to set up because if not, uh, our kitchen display won't work. So uh, let's go to the cockwheel icon and start the setup. You will see the setup menu. Let's go to the Wi-Fi. Just a reminder is that our connection is via Ethernet, so we're already wired. We don't need to worry about that, but we will go through, open it, and you will see all available networks right now. And you know the drill here. You just need to put your password, and you will get connected to your network. Now let's go back with one right click. This is the shortcut to go back one step and go to more just under data usage. 
Uh, just a reminder here before going to Ethernet is that airplane mode should be always turned off. If not, you will get disconnected everywhere. Ethernet will fill all information here automatically, so you will know that you are right if you have this information filled out already. Let's scroll down a bit and we should go to the system section and click on date and time. Now we will make sure that the automatic options are turned off if they are turned on and start setting the date first. My date is the 23rd, so I will go to the 23rd and set it up. Now for the time, we will first move the time zone because this will change the time drastically. Let's go to select time zone. This is in Greenwich and I'm in Mexico currently, so I will just change it to minus six hours. Just You should see any kind of city that could be familiar to you to kind of change your time zone here. There's Mexico City and my time changed drastically as I mentioned. So let's just correct this. That should be 12.35. So just drag and drop the clock a bit to make that work. I'll just drag to 35 and that's it. And the 24 hour format, it's a, a preference and I will just turn on all the automatic options just to every time I restart, it's up to date and it's correct. So we are ready to go and start setting up our kitchen display application from scratch. So here uh, we will need to download the application. So we will open the browser on our app menu. Maybe your browser will need to update. So please uh, get the update on the Google Play Store. And then you can go back and type for Leaf Labs all together. This is our official page for leaflabs.com where we sell all the monitors and components you need for kitchen display. And let's start a free trial. Download with Clover. And just scroll down. We need to make sure you already install this application on your Clover device. It is really important that you already install this uh, from your computer and open the app um, because this will help you get your information and reach you back if you never notice the app or if you need help or if you haven't set it up or if your free trial is about to end. We will try to reach you with this info. So open the link and you can go here to free trial and click on connect. You can see the price and there's a 30 day free trial for you to use it. So don't be afraid to connect it and open it from here. And of course, uh, we will get your info if you need any help. You can reach us back too. And the second step is to download the application for your Android device, reminding you that our RKM is an Android device that works with Android apps. So uh, there is two versions of the app. There is a US version that is this link and the Canada version. Please download the one that you correspond to. We will download the app. Maybe your browser is not allowing you to download this. So for that, uh, you will have a lot of uh, alarms here. Don't worry, download anyway, just wait for the download. And if it is not downloading still because it doesn't recognize your memory, just close the app and open it again. It should let you download the app. If not, you can call us and we will figure it out with you. But this should be really easy to set up. So we will now just wait for the app to download and open it. You will get another warning that is telling you that uh, you're not allowed to install third party or unknown sourced apps. So we will just go with it on the settings section. Click on settings and you will be prompt to the settings menu. Scroll down and turn on unknown sources. Just click OK. There is no harm in selling our application. And now we will need to find a file that we just downloaded. So for that, we will need to, if you don't find it anywhere, of course, we will need to go to, to our home screen. I will just close every app here. Go to the home screen menu and go to Explorer, internal memory, and then download folder. The download folder will have our application file. So let's just turn this up. One and install it. It will take a bit to install. So I will just fast forward from here. Now that we're ready to open the app, 
please go ahead and you will be taken to the login page of our application. Let's just wait for it to load. It will load the login page of Glover where you need to put your password and uh, of course your email related to your Clover account. Um, let's say that you don't have a Clover account. You can skip this, go into the three dot menu on the top right, go to the settings. And if you open the app on your desktop and send us your information, we will be able to generate these credentials for you. And you can always use them whenever you want to sync any screen with our app. Or if you actually have your credentials, you just need to go through the process for which I will just fast forward a bit. Now you might have a lot of other stores, so you will just need to select the correct store that you install Kitchen Display in. Uh, for that matter, you can use uh, Reaches and we can find out with you. But in my case, I will use my original store and it's already linked to Clover. So it starts downloading everything. That means that we are good to go. And the green bar at the top means that we are ready. So we it's just matter to set this up uh, properly with an agent. Or if you want to keep looking at our other videos, you can check the features that we have there. So yeah. Uh, this top bar is meaning that we're connected, so we are ready here. Thanks for watching.